Hello and welcome. So we're looking here at the Acer Predator Helio 16 for 2023 featuring the RTX 4080. And in this short video, I'll be giving you an overview of the control center software. In this year's Acer, it's called the Acer Predator Sense. It's got a little bit of a facelift to it and it's actually pretty cool. So I wanna just show, you, show this to you in a separate video to prevent uh, you know, extending my full review video even further. They're already getting quite long, so it's nice to have some of these things separated out so you can peruse some of these things at your own leisure. So let's jump in here to start and we'll search for Predator Sense. Let's open that up. And this is the main software that basically controls this device. There is some metrics here, a nice animated avatar, which you could choose to turn off in settings. So if you go here, you could turn on or off the animation. I think it's kind of nice to have the animation. Doesn't really add anything to the overall performance or being able to control the device, but it is what it is. A nice little touch. Thank you, Acer. Uh, then on the right hand side, you've got a sidebar, which can be turned off or on. And this sidebar contains three widgets that are there by default. There's a scenario profile widget, monitoring, and some app shortcuts. So the scenario profile widget allows you to quickly toggle between, between defined presets for how you plan to use this device. For example, you could switch to gaming, quick, okay, quiet occasion if you're in an office or if you just wanna get some work done late at night. And then there's a daily use if you're just plugged in and want all the performance you can from this device. You can also, of course, define your custom scenario profile, which allows you to set the performance of the device, the, the fan mode, as well as the lighting modes that you have on this device. Uh, you can also click details to get additional information which basically just swaps you over to the scenario tab there's four tabs at the top here which kind of uh you know correspond to the widgets that are installed in this uh, sidebar here so there's the home ta home tab which is the home screen where you land once you first open this there is the scenario tab monitoring and app center of course if you're on the monitoring tab let's say if you close this application and reopen predator sense if I can type correctly, that is, it will bring you back to the previous tab that you were on. So that's a nice little touch. Thank you very much for having these kinds of little quality of life things, which I think really uh, make the overall enjoy experience more enjoyable on these devices. So let's jump back over to scenario for a moment. I want to talk about what these different modes are. So as I mentioned, there's daily use, there is gaming, uh, and then there's the quiet occasion. So right now, because I'm running on battery mode, all of the other modes are kind of disabled because you know, you want, you're running on battery. But if we look at one of these modes here, for example, we can go into some of the details. Uh, let's go to details here. If we, go, if we go to daily use, and you can also access that same menu here, for example, by clicking, sorry, scenario manager. And then once you come here, you can also click new profile and create your own profile. But if you look at these presets here, daily use, there's some definitions for what happens on, you know, AC power versus when you're on battery mode, how you want your lighting to be affected, which effect you want to roll with. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, you know, turn this off if you wanted. And I don't know what the area option does actually. You can also control here your lighting effects, your pulsar lighting for your RGB powered keyboard. Uh, you can also address the fan speeds here. I would suggest leaving an auto unless you have a specific reason for running in max mode. There's also of course custom. Custom allows you to basically set how you want your fan profiles to be managed. You can tune them a little bit, uh, but you know, keep in mind it doesn't give you the level of control that you're probably thinking with other devices. There's also here a tuning mode for audio. This talks about the what is two harmony? Then there is the monitoring tab. So this gives you some metrics about your GPU speeds, you know, your clock speeds, your RAM frequency, how much RAM is being used, etc., etc., as well as you know the network upload and download speeds. This device comes with killer 1675i wireless networking and killer Ethernet. So you should be able to tune those using the included killer software, which if you search for killer here, you've got a killer intelligence center, which allows you to manage both of those devices and adjust your overall experience with you know latency and whatnot during using those applications. One big gripe I have about this software is, you know, yes, it looks good, nice visual with the avatar, but overall it does not give us the level of control we need as enthusiasts and powerful uh, power users of these devices and particularly gamers. If I jump over to scenario, I can go into the scenario manager. I can look at these definitions, but if you look here, that's all it is. It's quiet, balanced performance. You can have a custom scenario, but that does not give you the ability to control what these modes actually do. 
Furthermore, there's no definition about how many watts, what the power levels are, what the thermal values are that are set with each mode. So you're kind of less left guessing and you have to do some actual testing and gameplay using MSI Afterburner or some sort of metrics tool to see what power level your device is running at. Uh, for gaming, however, it's preferred that you run in performance mode. You can also run in turbo mode. I've noticed that both modes, there's actually very little difference. So I'm surprised why you know uh, Acer has decided to offer both. It, they don't really actually do very much. Uh, I would love for them to actually give us some metrics here, which tells us turbo mode, here's your PL1 and PL2 on your CPU. Here's the configurations for your GPU. And even, even further, allow us to have a custom mode where we can actually undervolt or overclock. With this application, there's no such possibility. You cannot undervolt and you certainly cannot overclock your GPU. So looking at the PL1 and PL2 of your CPU, the power levels, uh, the thermals of your, or even the TCC adjust as you have in the Alienware software, or even with the GPU to be able to overclock the RAM a little bit or overclock the core clock, set the thermal limit on the GPU, you cannot do any of that in this application. I think that is a huge miss by Acer, considering their intended audience for these Predator devices are enthusiast gamers. So, and also this being their premier line of gaming laptops, I'm not sure what happened at Acer, who's making those decisions, but please give us the ability to have control and give us some definitions to what these modes actually mean. There's nowhere in here that you have a help button that you could click to get that kind of information in the software. And there certainly is no mention of what type of power levels you're running as you switch amongst these modes. So the ease of use is certainly there, but if you're a power user and you're after control over your device, you can really tweak things to the way you like there's a lot left to, to be desired here. In settings, you can actually adjust very, very little. So if you go here, all you can really select is whether you want the units to be in Celsius or in Fahrenheit, if you live in the US, for example, uh, and you can turn off this animation. So if you move here, it becomes a very static display rather than an animated icon. Uh, there is also this uh, Cloud9 here, which I believe is Acer's attempt at sort of a social media or social network surface for gamers. It, there's, you know, there's blogging, there's social networking, there's a chat and some other things. Thankfully, it's not def installed by default. If you prefer, you can head over to this link here and download it for yourself and try it out. I have no interest in adding additional junk to my computer and junkware, so I will leave that alone. Uh, other than that, I also don't see in this software any way to bind keyboard shortcuts to be able to toggle between the fan modes or to toggle between the different performance modes. There is on the keyboard a Predator key, so if I close this software and press the Predator key, uh, all you get back is to this Predator Sense software on the last screen that you were at. That's helpful, but overall I think that's severely lacking for a premier device in the gaming segment in 2023 aimed at gamers and power users. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.